गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट सब्जेक्ट वर्क कॉन्कर सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो इज वॉट इज सब्जेक्ट वर्क कॉन्कर इट इज एक्चुअली अ टाइप ऑफ एग्रीमेंट विच मीन्स वेन वी राइट और स्पीक अ सेंटेंस वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट द वर्क मस्ट अग्री विद द सब्जेक्ट एंड द सब्जेक्ट मस्ट अग्री विद द वर्क लेट मी रिपीट द डेफिनेशन वंस अगेन वेन वी राइट और स्पीक अ सेंटेंस वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट द वर्क मस्ट अग्री विद द सब्जेक्ट एंड द सब्जेक्ट मस्ट अग्री विद द वर्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल राम इज अ गुड बॉय so we all know that every sentence has two parts subject and predicate this is the subject and this part is the predicate right this is the subject and this is predicate right so the subject means the doer of the action so you can see ram ram is a singular subject right and here we are using is 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 again a singular verb so when our subject is a singular subject we cannot use a plural verb with it for example if we write are right ram are a good boy do you think is it a right sentence no it is wrong right this one is wrong so when we are using a singular subject we have to use a singular subject and when we use a plural subject we must use a plural verb for example ram and shyam are good friends right so you can see in this sentence that here we are having two subjects ram and shyam and thus it has become a plural subject right it is a plural subject here we are having two people and this part is the predicate of our sentence so in our predicate we are we are using are right why because when we are having two subjects that means when we are having plural subject we have to use a plural verb so the first rule of subject verb agreement is if the subject is singular the verb should also be singular and if the subject is plural the verb should also be plural right now come to the rule number 2 right sometimes the confusion arises when the nouns are plural in form but they are having singular meaning right for example scissors tong goggles etc so you can see these nouns are plural in form each and every word is having s at the end scissors tongs goggles etc so though they are written in plural form but they are actually singular nouns so with these type of nouns we always use a singular verb now come to rule number 3 there are words like everybody somebody nobody anyone and each right so we all know that we use these words to uh, talk about more than one person but whenever we use them we always use a singular verb with them for example everybody is coming to my party so you can see that here i'm talking about more than one person right more than one person Uh, are coming to my party but here i'm using the verb is which is a singular verb right so with these type of words we always use a singular verb okay now come to rule number 4 which is very important when two subjects are joined by and they take a plural verb right so when two subjects are joined by and they take a plural verb for example the cow and the goat are grazing 
right so in this sentence we are having two subjects the cow and the goat right and these two subjects these two nouns are joined by and right and is the conjunction which is joining these two subjects so whenever we use a conjunction to join uh, two different verb, uh, subjects we use a plural verb for example are here we cannot write the cow and the goat is grazing we are having more than one subject so that's why here we are using are now let's discuss rule number 5 so we just uh, understood that when two subjects are joined by and they take a plural verb but sometimes and is also used to separate the subjects right for example we can see uh, in the rule number 5 we use a singular verb if two subjects are separated by and refer to the same person or thing let me explain it by giving you an example mr mohan my friend and philosopher is coming so you can see here i am using two nouns friend and philosopher yet i am using a singular verb which is is right so because i am talking about the same person mr mohan is the friend and mr mohan is the philosopher they are not the different person they are the same person right so that's why when we use two different nouns or two different subjects to re refer or to represent the same person or the same thing we always use a singular verb Uh, so before moving further, let's revise all these things quickly. First thing that you need to know is what is subject verb conquer. So as I told you, when we write or speak a sentence, we have to make sure that the verb must agree with the subject and the subject must agree with the verb. And I gave you uh, an example like Ram is a good friend. So when Ram is a singular subject, we have to use is because is is also a singular subject. We cannot use are. then uh, let's discuss the rules once again rule number 1 if the subject is singular the verb should also be singular if the subject is plural the verb should also be plural that you can see in our first example rule number 2 nouns plural in form but singular in meaning take a plural verb right so there are nouns uh, which are written in plural forms for example scissors tong goggles cards mums and there are so many other words they are always written in plurals by adding s or es but they always take a singular verb now rule number 3 everybody somebody nobody anyone and each we all know that these words are used to talk about more than one person right but with them we always use a singular verb like everybody is coming to my party we can't say everybody are coming right we always say and write everybody is coming to my party or nobody is coming to my party now rule number 4 when two subjects are joined by and they take a plural verb right for example the cow and the goat are grazing here we are having two nouns the cow and the goat and they both are joined by using conjunction and so in this case we always use a plural verb rule number 5 we use a singular verb if two subjects are separated by and refer to the same person or thing so sometimes and is also used to separate the nouns or separate the subjects for example mr mohan my friend and philosopher is coming i'm using two different nouns friend and philosopher but i'm talking about the same person i'm talking about mr mohan he is the friend and he is the philosopher also so that's why when i'm talking about the same person i'm using a singular verb dear students i hope that you have understood all these things rest of the things will be explained to you in my next video thank